Well, hello there, folks. Thanks for clicking on the video. Uh, you're joining me out in a rather wintry, wet, damp um, couple of days. So, I'm going to be doing an overnighter tonight, and basically, it's just going to be a bivy bag uh, that I've actually got with me. Um, so, very, very wintry, very snowy, uh, but just very wet. So, I do apologise for all the dripping noises. Uh, that's going to wind me up during the actual night, something rotten. Um, but it's just great to be back out again. So, unfortunately, I, I uh, got COVID. Uh, so I've been off for quite a wee while, so I do apologise for not putting a video out for a wee while um, But today's the day, uh, so really looking forward to it uh, Again, everyone thinks I'm mad, it's like the weather's just absolutely terrible But it's great just getting back out in the woods and enjoying myself uh, So plan of attack today, I'm actually want to try and build a bit of a survival shelter uh, Just directly on the opposite side of the tree that I'm actually, uh, I've got the plow point on just now uh, so I'm going to uh, hop up into the woods and actually see if I can get myself some materials and then just get building straight away uh, I'm probably going to sleep in here tonight just for the amount of snow uh, that there actually is uh, And it's meant to be like this right the way through, all day today, all night, all day tomorrow um, So it could be interesting, so we'll see how we go uh, So as I said, I'm just going to go straight up off up into the woods just now and get myself started So there's the setup for tonight, <clears throat> so it's basically a 3x3 three three DD tarp just in a play point configuration and then I've just got it tied off to the uh, tree at the back just to give me a little bit more sort of headroom and everything inside it but really really smart I actually started shooting a video not that long ago with it but it was that windy I ended up having to sort of abandon the video but really really smart so so simple and then inside I've just got my bivy bag and all my gear and all that sort of things at the back so as I said that uh, will be keeping me dry tonight and then from the point of view of the actual shelter the idea is I'm actually going to try and build it on the opposite side of it um, and again just in the actual the woodland itself so really really nice and again there's just nothing quite like camping in the snow but as I said it's certainly going to be a cold one tonight so it's meant to be getting down to about minus three I think it is so it'll be fine from the point of view if I said I've got the bivy bag I've got my um, Rabasent 700 sleeping bag and um, then I've got a sleeping bag liner inside it as well, so I'll certainly be warm enough for the actual night. Um, getting firewood might be a bit interesting, so I need to look at getting that as well. Worst case scenario, I do have a little bit of kindling back in the actual van, but ideally don't want to use that, but we'll just see how we go. Got a really nice meal lined up for tonight as well, so really looking forward to it. Problem I sometimes find when I'm doing this is actually just sitting there taking in the actual scenery. Uh, don't have time for that, need to get going. Okay.
Okay, so that's the sort of main frame up just now, but I'm going to try and dry the camera out because <laughs> it's absolutely pouring with rain um, and it has been for about the last sort of 45 minutes. So I'm going to try and get everything dried out as much as I can just now, uh, just camera equipment wise. Um, what I've been noticing as I've been going around, obviously with the snow, it's going to be a bit harder to get moss. So what I'm actually going to do, there's quite a lot of spruce boughs. Uh, so I'm actually going to cover the shelter itself with the spruce boughs itself. Um, so as I said, there's quite a lot around. Uh, so once I've sort of dried out a little bit, I'm going to head back up into the woods and get as much uh, spruce boughs as I possibly can. Just get that covered off and then that'll be that side of things actually finished off. Okay, so this rain just is not going to stop. Um, so as I said, I've actually, just while I've been letting things dry out, I've actually just gone and uh, got as much spruce boughs as I possibly can uh, just now. Now there are still a few uh, that I can actually get around. I'm just going to see how much I've actually got and what I actually need. So as I said, I'm just going to take the next few bit, just actually put as much of this on as I possibly can. Uh, and then I'll hook up with you. So I'm just trying to make it look as stealthy as possible so you can't really see it from a lot of areas. I said it doesn't need to be waterproof tonight because that's how I'm going to be um, sleeping underneath the tarp. Okay, so I'll hook up you once I've got all everything on. So there's it there, that's it finished. <clears throat> so it's basically, I just wanted to try and do something, no tools apart from, the only thing I did was this saw uh, at the very start to actually put the main beam in. And then again, it's just using spruce. Now obviously, normally what I would be using is moss, uh, just to try and make it as waterproof as possible. But again, there was just so much spruce lying around, I thought I'd just take advantage of it. So just as a rough shelter, just in a sort of survival situation, just absolutely ideal. Real smart. It's uh, so cold that I've decided just to actually get straight on my dinner. Some of the other stuff I was going to do, it's just too cold to actually do. So I'm going to try and get some warm food in me. I had sort of hoped that this was actually going to be snow um, instead of rain.
my normal level of incompetent cooking but it's going to taste lovely and it's going to do so much more for me just because it's warm as I was sort of saying I was hoping that would have been snow there's just nothing worse just that cold 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 rain And it does sort of curtail some of the plans. But it is what it is. Mm. That is lovely. Okay, I'm just going to sit here, finish this, and then I'll hook up you. So I'm starting to lose a wee bit of light just now, so I'm actually just going to get my bedding and everything all sort of set up. And my sleeping bag ready. And tonight, I think, I will most probably going to end up having to use my um, sleeping bag liner. Because uh, I said it's just so cold, just for that um, rain. You know, I, I don't know. Sometimes I'd actually prefer it to be snowing more than anything. But I said I'll probably end up using the sleeping bag liner as well. Just to keep me warm. Again, just in there, I'll just be in the bivvy. So I'll see how we go. I'm going to try and sleep without it, but as I said, just if I get cold during the actual night, I know I've got that there as a backup. Um, now, as I said, from now on, <laughs> it's basically a case of you know, there's not really an awful lot I'm actually going to do because of the fact that it is just so so cold and also so wet. So I'm probably going to hunker down and try and get myself a bit warm. Um, I don't obviously want to put a fire, but I'm going to put the actual, uh, the wood burning stove, uh, I'm going to put um, put that on later on as well, get my hands warmed up just before I actually go off to bed. Uh, so that's it, I'm just going to chill out, so I'll just hook up with you once it actually gets a little bit on the dark side, and uh, I'm going to get the lights on, I think it's going to be really, really nice, just a bit of ambient light in here tonight. Um, I'm glad I'm sleeping under the tarp, though, as opposed to underneath the actual, uh, the, <laughs> the uh, shelter. Um, a lot more waterproof, but still looking forward to it. Well, hello there. I went with the fatal mistake of actually uh, going into the sleeping bag uh, just to try and warm myself up and ended up falling asleep. Uh, so <laughs> I do apologise. Super comfy, super warm. It's really, really nice. Um, it's one degree, um, but it actually still feels really, really warm. Uh, to be perfectly honest, just because I've got the right lighting on. Uh, but I'm just going to settle down for the night, actually, and try and see if I can uh, sort of get a good few hours of sleep in. Uh, I'm just finding that one of the sort of side effects of the COVID I'm just constantly tired, uh, so hopefully get a good good few hours sleep tonight. And the one positive thing that I've just remembered about the actual fact that I'm all I'm hearing is the rain drips, uh, is the fact that I won't be able to hear the owl. Hopefully, um, I keep forgetting every time I come out to this woodland, there's always at an owl. Uh, so hopefully, I might not be able to hear him tonight. Uh, but bad in any incident, I will see you in the morning.
Well, good morning, folks. Well, I have to say that's probably one of the best sleeps I've had. Um, I reckon that's probably about ten hours solid sleep. I've actually just woken up exactly when I actually went to uh, went to bed. Didn't even move during the night. It was so nice. Um, perfectly warm, not cold at all, and woken up to an absolute belter of a morning. Uh, very, very cold, but I knew it was going to be cold. But it's so comfy. I say this is the first time I've actually slept in something like this. Uh, the plow point. Um, dry, no problems at all from the point of view of the actual amount of rain that there was yesterday. Um, so really, really, really pleased and be doing lots more of it, I think, uh, through the actual summer. Uh, so five more minutes in the sleeping bag and then it's going to be a case of getting up. Um, I'm going to finish off the shelter. There's a couple of wee bits in the shelter I'm wanting to do. Uh, but I'm also going to have some uh, wee bit of breakfast and a bit of a coffee. Well, an absolute disaster. In my rush to get away yesterday, I've got to left my bacon back at the house. Absolutely devastated. The stupid thing is, I've just spent 10 minutes having a hunt for it. I eventually phoned home and it's uh, a case of I've left it there. I'm just absolutely devastated. So it's a wee coffee just for breakfast, that's me. Uh, and then I get straight to work. It's probably not a bad thing. Um, situation I've got at the moment, obviously it rained all day yesterday. I've been checking the weather forecast and it's coming back in again at 12 o'clock and time at the moment is 10.20 uh, so I am wanting to try and get sort of packed down before the rain sort of hits so I'm not actually getting soaked as I'm actually packing up uh, so I'm just going to finish my coffee no bacon, really uh, and then <clears throat> I'm just going to get straight to it so I'll show you, once I've actually done it I'll show you what I'm meaning it's just at the end of the actual thing you can probably actually see there uh, it's just sort of boxing that bit off um, so the, the wee shelter there is just completely sort of covered Right, so as I said, just going to finish this and I'll catch up with you. So as I was saying, I'm just really wanting to um, finish this off, so it's really just going to be a case of actually at the end uh, just actually covering this up and then just get more spruce boughs and things like that as well, just get it covered just so that it's sort of like, again, I've got a complete coverage there uh, more than anything. So as I said, I've just been sort of wandering around, so there are quite a few sticks lying around and what I don't want to do is use any tools, so it's really just a case of actually trying to snap them and all that thing to bring them to the right sort of length. So uh, we'll go and see what we can get just now.
really all I'm looking for is the sticks that will actually support spruce boughs more than anything. <coughs> There we go, I should do that, and then I'll say we'll just head off up and I'll get some spruce. So there's the actual shelter itself from the front. And I said nice sort of lean to so it just sort of covers me. And then again as I said from the back it's just got all the, the spruce. But really smart. I've always wanted to build one. Because uh, everything I've sort of built is normally a full on sort of A-frame shelter. But no, you can look forward to a new video coming out with that one in it. Well, what can I say? That has just been an absolutely huge amount of fun. I've really enjoyed that. It has just basically been like a big kid in the woods building shelters and things like that as well. Um, I think that's why I enjoy the scouts so much because <laughs> it is just sort of, you are just basically just sort of messing around. And as I said, building things like that. So it's basically just a survival shelter. I didn't want to actually try and use tools. I did use a saw for cutting the main piece down because I wanted to make it so there was a bit of an angle. So when it leant against the thing, because I wasn't wanting to try and use twine or anything to tie the actual main support beam. I just wanted to try and make it as minimalistic as possible. Uh, and then just use the actual wood line around. And it's quite handy just sort of having so many um, sort of spruce and pine 
uh, branches down actually with the storms over the last wee while because I was able to use them for the actual coverage. Uh, but huge amount of fun. Everything is absolutely sodden, just with the amount of rain that there was yesterday. And it's about 45 minutes before the rain comes in again. So I am going to start breaking down camp just now. Uh, so if I don't uh, get a chance to actually get back before the rain, but hopefully it'll be a case of I'll get a chance to chat to you just before uh, we actually finish. Uh, but thoroughly enjoyable trip, really, really enjoyable. And I'm looking forward to getting an overnighter in there, uh, but hopefully before the midges actually arrive. Okay, so I'm just going to get camp taken down just now. Well, that's me all packed away and uh, ready to go home. I've absolutely loved that one. That was a really, really, really enjoyable trip. I've been wanting to do it for a wee while, so I'm looking forward to getting out and actually doing a wee overnighter in the new shelter as well. Uh, but it's going to be interesting going home, just actually checking to see what the footage is like. Because uh, I said yesterday was just an absolute nightmare with the camera, trying to keep it dry. Uh, so it'll be interesting. Hopefully there's not too much of, a, of an issue at all. Uh, so go home and start editing straight away. Um, it's more just the fact that it, I was constantly having to try and keep the, the camera dry and drying it off and uh, and everything. But we'll see what happens. Um, but hopefully you've enjoyed the trip. I've thoroughly had an absolutely fantastic time. Uh, so I'm looking forward to sort of getting out and as I said, getting an, a, a night under there uh, in the next few weeks as well. So thanks very, very much for watching. You take care and we'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.